Hey everybody, morning again and welcome from a beautiful morning lion camp here in the South Luangwa National Park. I'm standing on the banks of the Luangwa River. We've got beautiful storks flying by, we've got hippo in the river just behind me. I think you're in for a surprise this morning, folks. I think you're going to enjoy this one and get a cup of coffee in your hand, sit back, turn the volume up and relax. Enjoy with me. Cheers. Here we are, early morning at Fish Eagle Lagoon with a lot of storks all fishing doing their thing and then right here close to me got a whole lot of guinea fowl that have just been drinking water and those that have finished drinking water they're all having a good old dust bath over here look at that all getting ready for the day Washing their faces, brushing their teeth. And then if we go just to the back there, there's a whole lot of baboon. Also getting ready for the day, moving around. Look how beautifully the sun is reflecting off that stump at the back there. So I was heading up to the top end of Fish Eagle to go and get better footage of the storks fishing and I saw these vultures in the trees on the left so I stopped here just to see what's happening and then just in front of the bush right here there's a few hyena. So I'm going to go and investigate and see what's happening here. There's another one there to the right of that tree stump. Hooded vultures sitting on the ground here. I think they're having a snooze. Some more vultures up in the tree there. The hooded vulture and white back vulture together on the ground here. Look at that moon in the sky just behind the vultures. Funny chap. You guys had a good dinner last night. Yeah, so we've got a hooded vulture right here in front of us. And if you look just to the back, in the bush, in the thicket there, there's a young male lion. That's obviously why the hyena are just hanging around on the outskirts here. Because even though this is still a young male, he is a big boy. He really is a big boy. And he's paid his school fees in fights and taken over territory. So he's not going to let a few hyena come and take his food away. Up there he's coming up now, look at him. Look at him, what a magnificent beast. Wow, good morning boy. Have you enjoyed your dinner? Dinner and breakfast. I can get in on that. Look to the sun boy, there we go. Oh, my goodness, what a beautiful thing. Now, if there isn't another lion in this bush, which I doubt there is, I haven't heard anything, but if there isn't another lion in this bush with that carcass, these hyena are going to take this opportunity very shortly. They're going to see this chap is gone, and they're going to take this opportunity to, to come and help themselves to a snack. No, he's coming back. He's decided he is not going to leave his meal.
Let's go and pause. Just to give you an idea how close he is to, to the vehicle. Look at that. There he goes. Wow. And look at this to the left. There's already one standing in waiting to come and grab some pickings. <laughs> So this guy's very reluctant to leave his bush and his kill. He obviously wants to go and have a drink of water, but now there's a lot of activity starting to happen. As he turned his back, a lot of vultures came, flew down behind the bush there. The hyenas are edging a little bit closer. Sorry about the bull in front, guys, but I don't want to start and move back, otherwise he's going to fly up. Seems as though the thirst is going to win this battle against looking after the kill or getting a drink. Whoa, if you could smell that. My oh, goodness, the wind just turned here. I got a whiff of that, of all the gut juices. and My oh, word, quite a strong smell that. I'm really hoping this guy is going to go for a drink now because if he goes to drink the closest water is literally by the fishing party that i wanted to film so i'm hoping we can knock two with one i think we're going to have a winner this guy's going to go and drink by the fishing party see what happens i'm really in a bit of a catch-22 here because i want to stick around here and watch the hyena if they go in there and they start pulling that cox out, there's going to be a lot of noise with them fighting. But I think I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm going to sit with the hyena for a few more minutes and see what we can, what we can get. There's two more hyena coming running in there. There we go, guys. Here comes the party now. I'm very nervous. They're coming out checking, making sure that the big guy is moving off. That was incredibly quick. I didn't even get a chance to drive around the bush. There goes one hyena off with a big chunk. A hyena in background, a hyena in foreground. Doesn't seem to be much left there. Unless he's just really nervous going in. Here comes one back yeah, with a piece with a chunk in his mouth. He doesn't want to share his buddy chasing him around, but he doesn't want to share. Look at the emerald spotted dove. Earth, as he turns, you see the sun catch that beautiful emerald spots on his wings. I'm glad I managed to make it in time to get him drinking. I knew I had a little bit of time to play with because once lions start drinking, they do drink for a fairly fairly long time and as promised where he's drinking we just go a little bit to the right there's the fishing party all the stalks there's even two hummer cop right in the middle there three hummer cop let's go back to the line for a minute then. okay looks like he's finished drinking now Wow, look at that belly, man. Right, so this guy also wanted to be in this morning's clip. He accosted me just before camp now. Morning, chap. Well, guys, there we have it. The end of another morning. What a brilliant morning. I really enjoyed today. It was, a, it was just such a surprise. It was really nice. If this is the first video you're watching in this in the series, please go back to my channel and watch the intro clip that I posted. There I explain what this is all about. I'm trying to anti-crazy the world just by a few little video clips of beauty, of spectacular scenery, of amazing animals. I got a request last night for a 
honey badger and a pangolin. Now, honey badger, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. There's a there's a decent possibility in the next couple of days for a honey badger. Pangolin, I'm not gonna put my money on it. Pangolin is not a very easy animal to find out here. Uh, there's areas where pangolin are very easy to find where they have extensive projects on monitoring the pangolins but out here in South Luangwa pangolins are a hard thing to find but we'll try we'll do our best guys enjoy have a fantastic day further forget about all the worries and the troubles going on just for even if it's for just a little while just forget about it have fun look after yourselves and take good care we'll catch you on the flip side cheers Mm-hmm.